know your start, if you know your opening paragraph, it becomes much easier. Um, and I think like when I'm interviewing someone, when I'm doing a story, I'm all the time thinking in my head, uh, how do I lead into the story, right? Because I think once I have that in, the rest kind of flows quite organically. Um, and I know as a writer, I struggle the most about the opening paragraph. It is just something which I probably read the opening paragraph 20 to 30 times. The rest of the piece I might have read 10 times, right? Um, I think there's this huge difference. Um, and often it then happens that your opening paragraph sounds belabored because you've like just gone to admit mm. it so many times. I think that's also a risk. And I know even I'm. it's happened to me. Um, but I think for me, once I, um, I think someone used this line, which I find very relevant is use procrastination as rehearsal. Um, and again, as a journalist, I don't really write unless I have a deadline, but I feel even if I'm not writing in my head, I am rehearsing what my story might be, right? I have a vague idea of what's my opening. I have a vague idea of what is my second and third paragraph, not beyond that, right? Mm -hmm. um, because then I definitely go into the flow. Um, so yeah, I think my, the process is very sort of just sit down at the computer with a deadline above you <laughs> and start writing. Um, but it's also while you are researching the story, you are thinking of the writing process. So in my head, they're not two separate. Um, they, they're not two separate processes. Um, while I am in the story, I'm thinking about okay, how do I describe this? How do I put this down on paper? And I think that's what I like about journalism, right? Like the the writing kind of is so organic to the entire uh, process itself.